This Not On Your Side news update is sponsored by Hawksworth Blood Center. Stay in the know with Dr. O. Visit hawksworth.org. Good morning, Tri-State. I'm Tamika Artis here with the big stories that we're following for you on this Saturday, the first day of June. Well, first, breaking overnight, police in Virginia have identified the man accused of killing 12 people at the city's municipal center. Investigators say 40-year-old Dwayne Craddock, a disgruntled employee, used a 45 caliber handgun to shoot his victims. He was eventually killed by police. Investigators say he had recently been fired from his job. And right now, Cincinnati police officers are searching for the gunman who opened fire on a crowd in Evanston, killing one person. It's a story that we first brought you last night on 9 on your side at 11. It happened just before 10 o'clock last night on Durrell Avenue. Police officers found a second victim lying on the ground not far away on Gilbert Avenue. No word on that person's condition. And breaking overnight, the UC Bearcats baseball team overcoming the odds to take down the national champs in the NCAA playoffs. The game in Corvallis, Oregon, ended just a little while ago. In fact, early this morning, with the Bearcats, A.J. Bumpus hit the go-ahead RBI triple in the ninth inning. You see beats Oregon State University 7-6. It is also the 400th career victory for UC head coach Scott Guggins. For more breaking news, weather, and sports, tune in to Good Morning Tri-State or log on to WCPO.com. Have a great Saturday.